The Supreme Court right now is readying to hear a case that could determine whether censorship on social media platforms is legal or whether it violates the constitutional protections on free speech. Now, this particular case focuses on laws in Texas and Florida that restrict social networks from carrying out political censorship. And critics of these programs in turn are saying that it's government censorship to restrict the platforms from censoring based on government recommendations. The issue though ties into a few things when it comes to this in particular, social media platforms and of course search engines. One of these is section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. Now that section makes it so that social networks are relatively free from legal responsibility over what their users post. If someone posts threats on the platform, if somebody posts illegal content, typically the platforms are not held responsible for it because of Section 230. The reason for this is that they're not the ones publishing it. And you know, it's a way to prevent suppression of people's free speech as well on websites like social networks. So the issue when it comes to this, whether there is political bias in how these websites are censoring people, whether social networks and such should still have the type of legal protection if they're showing vast powers of censorship. <laughs>